uh, another old time Tuesday. I'll just come outside, you know, we're not going to have much more nice weather. It's autumn now, the leaves are turning. So I'm just having a cup of tea and uh, thought we'd, you know, take advantage of the weather and do one outside. So what we got today? So there we have it. So I suppose you can guess what it is by looking at it. It's very much all shoe shaped. So yeah, that gives it an insight. I just want to talk about this case first. I know I'll go on about this a bit, but workmanship is gone. You know, pride in, in you know, uh, what a man could do with his hands, stitching, sewing, whether it make a suit for somebody. Um, everything's mass produced these days. He was all individually done. So when we look here at this stitching, I mean, it truly is, for, for, what, for what this is made for, it just surprises me the effort that was put into it. If we come in here and have a look, you can see this stitching. I can't even count them to the inch. My eyes are not that good, but looking at it, it looks like one, two, three, four. Oh, let's do a, try another piece. Oh, here you One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That could be 16 to the inch, 16 stitches to the inch on a piece of pig, pig skin. Um, absolutely lovely thing the way it's made. On the reverse side here, you can see that this is laid down at some time and moved around like that, yeah? Um, it had some loops on it at one time here. You can see this piece here had some loops on it and they've been replaced down here. And you can look at this stitching here compared with this, it's truly incredible. For what this was made for, you know, the, the, the amount of work that's gone into it. You can see wear here, which is a terrible shame, just wear here and it's broken and cracked away. Um, but anyway, let's have a look what's inside. So when we open it up, we can take a little shoe out. So there's a little shoe. But the remarkable thing about it is that it's what was called a get me home. Get me home shoe, yeah? Well, that's what I've re heard it referred to as. The way the holes are punched in, you can see around here, three each side, not four and three. Um, and the way they're spaced apart, because it pivots and can open so it will fit a wide range just to get you home. So a lovely, lovely thing. All handmade, um, just, a, just a lovely thing just to own. They obviously carried them on mail coaches, park drags, most private vehicles would have had them on, but how many have survived? But this would have been made obviously for a pony coming down here move this out the way you could come from this size down there also the other thing is if you look at it you could make it a four shoe four shoes being round the front feet in other words is rounder and the back foot is more egg shaped if you like so it would fit the back or the front and the purpose was was to get you home so if you lost a shoe and back in the day if you like horses were shod more frequently than they are today. You know, when I was a nipper, if you had a horse that was working, he'd want to be shod every three weeks as an average, some less, some a little bit more. We certainly wouldn't go six weeks as they do today because they'd be out working and they'd be wearing their shoes out, wouldn't they? And they would be wearing them out. So hence, get your own shoe. And most people, most lads, could put a shoe on. Back then it was legal to do so. And they knew what they were doing and they could they could tap a shoe on enough to get you on. The other thing I've got, which we'll, we'll do in another uh, old time Tuesday, is I've got a little collapsible hammer. And a uh, brilliant little thing. And um, somewhere or the other, if I can find them, I've got a hammer, one end and a pair of pliers. Funny enough, it's very much like a fencing tool today. So it's a hammer to nail them on, yeah? It's got a magnet on the side if I can ever find it, um, if I remember right. And uh, you can keep your nails on there. 
when you're working and the other end can be used like a pair of pinchers to take the uh, take the shoe off you know if it's hanging off so there it is yeah lovely thing and just inside the case here if we just put that there just inside the case there you can see I mean these nails have been replaced but I put some in but there's your nails inside the case as well so you had you had eight nails because sometimes you'd go to put one in and it would you know especially if you was out side the road trying to do it and the distractions for the horse etc so you could you know bend the nail so but a lovely little thing beautifully made I'll just show you that stitching yeah, again actually this is a better place to see now, if you measured an inch there you know from here to about here I mean just look at the stitching on that quite incredible and everywhere all around it's done exactly the same way lovely craftsmanship obviously the loops were there at one time and I think this could have been worn on a belt yeah possibly but this one has definitely spent its, its time these here have never been used they've been sewn on but they've never been used you can see here that they've never had a belt for them they're too tight you know they've never been but this one is laid under the seat of a trap I would think and as it's moved around underneath so it's worn through there that wouldn't happen quite well it could have done but it wouldn't happen quite so readily hanging on a someone's belt against a pair of britches so there you are get me home shoe so it's a lovely morning i'll finish my tea and get on with my work